Hello, class. You guessed it. Today we're learning about butterflies. I want to start off by singing a song that we learned at the beginning of the school year. Please sing along if you remember it. First comes the butterfly that lays an egg. Out comes a caterpillar with many legs. Oh, see the caterpillar spin and spin. A little cocoon to sleep in. Oh, 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 look and see. Oh, 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 look and see. Out of the cocoon, my, oh, my. Out comes a beautiful butterfly. Do you remember that song? Now I'm going to read a really cool book about butterflies. Explore my world, butterflies. Look, butterflies, fluttering, floating, zigzagging by. They flash like jewels in the sunlit sky. They flit over fields and wander through woods. They glide into gardens and dance through deserts. What are butterflies looking for? Flowers to feed on. When a butterfly lands, it tastes the flower with the tips of its feet. Did you know that? Wow. This flower tastes sweet. Deep inside it, it is a sugary liquid called nectar. The butterfly unrolls a long tube on its head and pokes it into the flower. It's so cool. If you look really close, you can see that little curled up tongue and the butterfly just puts it right in the flower, just like a straw. Slurp. The butterfly uses the tube like a straw to suck up the nectar. What's for lunch? Some butterflies drink nectar from almost any flower. Others are picky eaters. They only feed on certain flowers. A few butterflies prefer to dine on rotting fruit or even dead bugs. Here are some butterflies with their favorite foods. It's raining. To keep dry, a butterfly folds up its wings and perches below a leaf. At night, a butterfly hangs upside down to sleep. To warm up in the morning, a butterfly spreads its wings wide and soaks up the sun. A butterfly's life may seem fancy free, but at any moment, <gasps> swoop, a hungry monkey might sneak up and snatch it. A mouse might munch it. A bird might nab it. A lizard might zap it. Oh no. How can butterflies stay safe? Some hide by blending in with the world around them. That means they're camouflaged. Some have spots on their wings that look like eyes. I sp eye spots scare away enemies. Boo! A rainbow of colors. A butterfly's wings are covered with thousands of tiny powdery scales. These scales create the insect's beautiful colors and patterns. Here are some butterflies from around the world. Oh, how many of them have eye spots? I see one. Oh, I see maybe two, three. Wow. That's why there's spots on butterflies. A mother butterfly flies from plant to plant, tasting them with her feet. She's looking for one her babies can eat. When she finds the right plant, she lays her eggs on it. Oh, do you see on the right side, that big butterfly with the eye spot? If you look at the very bottom of her, do you see the little tiny, tiny white eggs there? They're very small. The eggs hatch and out creep the babies. The babies are tiny caterpillars, very hungry caterpillars. A caterpillar gobbles up the plant it's on. It eats and eats, it grows and grows. It grows so big its skin splits. The caterpillar wiggles out of it. Then it gets too big for its new skin. Again and again this happens. Eat, grow, split, 
Twiggle. One day, a caterpillar hangs upside down from a leaf or twig. It makes a hard, thin shell around its body. The shell is called a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, something amazing happens. The caterpillar changes into a butterfly. In our song, we also call the chrysalis a cocoon. After days or weeks, the chrysalis splits open. Out crawls the new butterfly. The butterfly's wings are crumpled and wet, but soon they straighten out and dry. Fly, butterfly! Now the butterfly is ready to take off to fly, to flash like a jewel in the sunlit sky. From egg to butterfly. All butterflies go through four very different stages. Here is the life cycle of the blue morpho butterfly. Number one is the egg. How many eggs do you count on this leaf? I count nine. Number two is the caterpillar. How do you think this caterpillar would feel if you touched it? Hmm. I wonder if it'd be prickly or soft, or it would probably tickle you for sure. Number three, chrysalis. What big change happens in this stage? That's right, it turns from a caterpillar to a butterfly. A butterfly, guess what's on the other side of these wings? Eye spots. Spy a butterfly. Some butterflies are very good at hiding in plain sight. Can you find the butterfly in each picture? Hmm. The first one looks like a leaf. The second one is yellow, but it looks like a, a flower, but I see it. Wow, all of these butterflies on this page are camouflaged. That one even looks like a leaf. That's so cool. Grow a butterfly garden. You can lure butterflies in your home by planting their favorite flowers in your yard or in pots. That's what I do in my backyard. I have some flowers out there that the butterflies and bees love. Well, I hope you enjoyed my book about butterflies. Now, I want you to take out your butterfly windsock crown. A little bit longer. So, hope you can stick with me here. We need a glue stick and you'll need some scotch tape and a black marker. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to get out is the tissue or the crepe paper strips that I made. And you'll notice there's two colors. That's because I want you to make a pattern with these. So what I want you to do is at the bottom of your butterfly, make six little circles with your glue. And I'm my pattern, everyone has different colors in their butterflies, but my pattern is yellow and green. Yours might be something else. I think I did orange and pink too. So just do a pattern at the bottom. Now, the next thing I want you to get is those fuzzy sticks. Those are gonna be your antennas, okay? And your mom dad can help you if you need it, but you put your finger out and you just twist them around your finger to make the antennas. See, now they're curly. And then you're gonna to wanna to do the other one. Do them both. Put it around your finger and twist, twist, twist. Like that. Now this is where you're gonna need your scotch tape and your mom and dad might have to help you with this part. That, or you could practice using scotch tape. You lift it up, pull, and then press it down. Now you're going to tape your antennas in the middle at the top. Oh, sorry, like this. Mm 
might need to adjust them a little. Okay, now the next thing you're going to do is on the left side of the paper, you're going to put a lot of glue, big line of glue. Then you're going to fold your paper over to make your wind soft. Press it down. And like I said, your mom and dad might have to help you with that a little bit, okay? And you can even take a stapler if you want to make sure that it stays and staple either in, mom and dad. Okay, so now you have this part of the butterfly. So you're going to put that to the side for a minute and take out your wings. Your wings might not be pink, they may be a different color. And you can either pre have those already cut out or your mom and dad can cut them out. They, they might be a little bit hard for you to cut. And you're going to take all the circles and hearts that I gave you, and you're gonna start decorating your butterfly wings. So I'm gonna put one circle at the top, one at the bottom, and one in the middle. Here, let's see, I'm gonna put the yellow one here, another yellow here. I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side because whatever's on one side of the butterfly wings is on the other side. Now I'm going to take the hearts and I'm gonna put those between in the middle. And I'm gonna take the dot, other dots I had and just kind of decorate. And you can do however you want. Everything that I put in there is for you to decide how to decorate your own butterfly. And then on my bottom circles, I'm going to put some more hearts. So you can decorate your wings, okay? These are even like the eye spots, right? To scare away things that might want to eat the butterfly. <laughs> so next thing you're going to do is put a lot of glue on the inside of your wings. And you take your windsock and you're going to press the wings on there. You might need to put your hand in the middle to press it on. Okay. So then the last thing you're going to do, or second to last, sorry, is you take these white circles and you make your eyeballs. And turn them over and put glue on them. And stick them on the top of your butterfly. And now the very last thing you're going to want to do is put your handle on. Your handle is just a strip of paper. So if you put glue at either end You can stick it on the inside at the top. And you have a handle up there to hang it with. Now you can also draw a big smile on your butterfly. Isn't that cute? It turned out so good. And these crepe papers will definitely fly in the wind if you hang it outside. Such a cute little butterfly. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about butterflies and send me a picture of your butterfly windsock after you make it. Enjoy, bye.